Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a 25 minute kettlebell workout. This is a full body workout, so we're gonna hit every major muscle group. We've got 25 exercises, no repeated exercises, 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. I'm using a 20 kilogram kettlebell, but make sure to use whatever weight you feel comfortable with today. So let's do this. Okay, so first up, we've got a dead swing squat. We're gonna start off with the kettlebell just in front of the feet. There's a triangle shape from the front of my feet to the kettlebell. We hinge at the hips, keep a neutral spine, two hands on the kettlebell. Gonna bring it into a swing, extend at the hips, catch the kettlebell at the top. Nice low squat, drive through the heels, and we go back down the same way we came up. We're gonna get going in about five seconds, 40 seconds of work. Let's go. So nice low squat, drive through the heels, and then we always come back to this position with the kettlebell on the floor between each rep. Make sure that you are engaging your core, keeping a nice neutral spine, and you're extending at the hips, swing the kettlebell up. For about 15 seconds to go. Okay, five seconds, do one more rep. Okay, take a rest. Next up, we've got staggered stance deadlifts. So, we're gonna start off with the left leg. Left foot is gonna be parallel with the kettlebell. Right foot is just behind with the right heel off the ground. We're gonna pick up the kettlebell with the right hand. So in this staggered position, we're going to Deadlift that kettlebell up, and we're gonna stay on the right side for now. Make sure you engage your core. Keep a nice neutral spine. As you hinge down to pick up the kettlebell, try and think of keeping a pace where you're lifting quickly and then lowering slowly. Sharp exhale when you lift, inhale when you lower. Got about five more seconds. Let's do one more rep and take a rest. Okay, get ready to do the same on the other side. So this time, right foot is gonna be parallel with the kettlebell. Left foot is gonna be just behind. Left heel comes off the ground. We're gonna be picking up the kettlebell with the left hand. Okay, let's get ready to go. Let's go, 40 seconds, staggered stance. Deadlift with the left arm this time, left hand picking up the kettlebell. About 15 seconds to go. Okay, five more seconds. And take a rest. Next up, we've got strict press on the right arm. We've got options to either do the standing or kneeling, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna go for it kneeling today. So I'm gonna be with left knee on the ground. Right knee is gonna be at a 90 degree angle. We're gonna have a kettlebell in the rack position on the right arm. From here, strong press up. Make sure to keep the bicep close to the ear at the top. And then when you come back down, try and think of keeping the kettlebell in the center line of your body. And that's gonna stop the kettlebell from pulling your hand away from your shoulder, which could put your shoulder in a compromised position and potentially getting an injury. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Take a rest. Okay, get ready to do the same on the other side. So you're either gonna be standing, if you prefer, if this hurts your knees, then do the standing or seated. I'm doing it kneeling, which means that right knee is gonna be on the ground. And then left foot planted, left knee at a 90 degree angle. Let's bring that kettlebell into the rack position. Strong press, straight up. <sighs> 
20 seconds to go. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Let's do one more. Take a rest. Okay, we've got split squats next. So, we're going to start with the kettlebell in the rack position on the right arm, so on the right shoulder. And then what we're going to do is send the left leg back into this split stance, and then we go down into lunges. So, we're going to stay in this lunge position, in the split stance, and then you're going to lower down until both knees are at a 90 degree angle, drive back up. So you've got left foot behind, right foot in front. Again, engage the core, keep a neutral spine. And rest. Okay, we've got the same coming up on the left side now. So that means that you're going to have a kettlebell in the rack position on the left arm, on the left shoulder. This time right foot goes back. Let's get ready to go. So right foot's behind. Lower down to both knees at a 90 degree angle. Drive back up. Ten seconds. Okay, take a rest. Next up, what have we got? We have got plank pull throughs. So let's start with the kettlebell outside the right hand. We're in a high plank position, and we're going to pull it through with the left uh, left hand to the other side of the body and then pull it back again with the right hand. So try and think, keeping a nice neutral spine here, engaging your core. Fifteen seconds to go. Few more seconds. Okay, take a rest. Next up, we've got chest press. So we're gonna start with the right arm. So we're laying flat on our back, on the floor, or on the mat. We've got the kettlebell in the right hand. And just like a bench press, we're gonna push it up towards the ceiling, back down. About 15 seconds to go. And take a rest. Okay, let's get the kettlebell. Now onto the left side of the body for the same thing on the left side. So it's gonna be chest press or floor chest press with the left arm. Starting in about five seconds. Okay, let's go. Oh. 
15 seconds to go. Okay, take a rest. Okay, now kettlebell goes to the bottom of the mat. Just gonna place it there. Now, you're gonna be in a seated position, legs together and to the right side of the kettlebell. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna be lifting our legs over the kettlebell. So just alternating these leg raises going over the kettlebell. So engage your core, keep a neutral spine. Really important that you're not rounding your spine here. Ten seconds. And take a rest. Okay, we're back to standing next for goblet squats. So we're holding the kettlebell. You can either have it by the horns or with the, with the bell upside down. And you're gonna have it, holding it just in front of your chest. And we're gonna go into a squat. Let's get that kettlebell up. Okay, let's go, 40 seconds. Nice low squat. Just like you're sitting back in a chair. Drive through the heels when you stand up. Okay, go about 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Okay, take a rest. Okay, next up, we're gonna hit the back. We've got bent over rows. So we're gonna do it a single arm at a time. So here, we hinge at the hips, slight bend in the knees. Right hand on the kettlebell. We're gonna pull the elbow up and away from the body. Let's go. 40 seconds, single arm, bent over rows, right arm. Again, I know I keep saying it, but really important that we keep a neutral spine here. Really don't want to be rounding over. 20 seconds, come on. Come on, 10 seconds. Okay, take a rest. Grab your breath. We've got the same now on the left arm coming up next. Grab a sip of water if you need. So, single arm, bent over rows. Left arm this time. Let's go, 40 seconds. Twenty seconds. Come on, ten seconds. Still one more. Okay, take a rest. Okay, we're gonna hit the biceps next. Goblet curls. So we're holding the kettlebell by the horns at the side. And then we're just gonna flex at the elbows for those bicep curls. Whew. Okay, let's go. 40 seconds, bicep curls. So we're lifting quickly, lowering slowly. 20 seconds, come on. 
Ah. <sighs> 10 seconds. Oh. Okay, take a rest. All right, let's hit the triceps next. Overhead tricep extensions. So this time, I want you to grab the kettlebell upside down. So as it's on the floor, palms on the front side of the horns, we're gonna pick it up. And then kettlebell goes overhead. And then we're going to flex the elbows and then extend overhead. Soft knees. Engage your core. Fifteen seconds. Ah, oh, this is tough. Okay, be careful now with how you bring that kettlebell back down. Set it down for 20 second rest. Next up, we've got alternate back lunges. We're gonna have the kettlebell in the goblet position, just like with the goblet squats. And then we're gonna alternate our back lunges. Let's get ready to go. Okay, let's go. Alternate back lunges. Got about 15 seconds. Keep going. Okay, take a rest. Next up, we got hip to hip halos. So, just like with the overhead tricep extension, we've got the kettlebell upside down, holding it with both hands. Start your left hip, bring it up around your right shoulder, around the head, and then finish up on your right hip. Then we go back the other way. So around the head, finish up at your right hip, then we go the opposite way. Soft knees, keeping the core engaged. Fifteen seconds. Keep going. Let's do one more. Take a rest. Okay. Upright rows next. So we're gonna hit the delts a bit more. Both hands holding the kettlebell. And what we're gonna do, soft knees. Engage the core, lift it straight up. Let's go. Straight up, slowly lower down. Oh, stop. 20 seconds. Ten seconds, come on, stay with me. Two more. Come on, last one. And rest. Great job. We're back down on the mat next. Kettlebell's gonna go on the right side of the mat. Horns facing away from you. Right hand goes on the kettlebell, left hand on the floor. We're gonna do offset push-ups. Okay, let's go. We've got just under five minutes left of this workout, guys. Stay with me. 20 seconds to go. 
on this exercise. If these get too tough, you can do these with your knees on the floor. Five seconds. Okay, take a rest. Grab a sip of water if you need, guys. We're doing the same on the other side next. Okay, so kettlebells on the left side of the mat this time. Left hand is on the kettlebell, right hand on the floor. Let's go, offset push-ups, 40 seconds. Oh, stop. Come on, keep going, you got this. 10 seconds. Okay, take a rest. We've got Z press next. So we're, we're sat on the floor, legs lying flat, facing away from the body. Kettlebells on the rack position on the right shoulder. And then we're gonna do strict press overhead. Let's go, 40 seconds. Oh, these are tough. Oh my God. Woo. Shoulders are torched. Let's go, come on. 20 seconds. Ah, oh. yeah, these are hard. 10 seconds. Okay, let's get ready to take a rest. Oh, I only managed a few reps. That was tough. We got the same on the left side. And then just a couple more exercises left to this workout. Oh, right. Come on, let's try and smash some reps out here. Big show keeping neutral spine, engaged core. Oh. Tough. 20 seconds, come on. Okay, come on, one more rep. Let's do this. Okay, take a rest. Just a couple more exercises to go. Crush push ups next. So, kettlebells in the middle of the mat at the end, horns facing away from the body. Both hands on the kettlebell, and we're gonna do push ups. Let's go. Crush push-ups, 40 seconds. Oh, come on. 20 seconds to go. Oh, oh come on, 10 seconds. A few more seconds, do one more rep. Okay, awesome work guys. We got one more exercise of this workout and then we are done. It's gonna be a swing, two-handed swing. So both hands on the kettlebell. 40 seconds of swings and then we're done. Let's finish together. Let's go, let's go. Strong hip extension, hinging at the hips and then extend it at the hips. Twenty seconds, come on, let's go. Ten. 
10 seconds. Keep going, you got this. And rest. That is it, well done for completing this workout. Thank you so much for joining me. You smashed that workout, that was a tough one. If you like this, please like the video, drop me a comment, click notification button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for joining me, I'll see you on the next workout.